Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you five different methods for changing a colored image to black and white. Now the first method involves going to image, then adjustments, then hue and saturation. And if you take a saturation uh, slider and drag it all the way to negative 100, you can see you get your uh, black and white effect. Now for your project this might not be the uh, best uh, way to do black and white. Um, so that's why I'm showing you the other methods. Uh, you just have to pick and choose depending on what your project dictates. So I'm just going to hit cancel. Um, if I would have clicked OK, then it would have applied this. Um, so the next one is actually if you go to image and then adjustments, and then you go to gradient map. Now this uh, applies the foreground and background color that you have selected down here uh, to the image as a gradient map. So if you were to uh, click this little button right here, then it would uh, select black and white as your um, foreground and background color just to set to default. Um, and you might want to play around with the different colors if it's uh, a little bit um, lighter of a black or a little bit darker of a white, it'll probably give you a different effect um, on your image. So again, just uh, play around with it depending on what your project uh, needs. So I'm just going to hit cancel. And the next one is if you go to image and then adjustments and then you go to channel mixer is right here. Um, this one gives you a little bit more um, that you can actually do uh, with the effect. Uh, gives you some more options. So if you click this monochrome button, this is the this is how you started off. This gives you what you've seen already. Um, but you can also uh, change these settings in here depending on the uh, the color channels. So as a uh, as our image had a lot of blue, if we were to start sliding this towards the uh, black end of the blue slider. Um, then all the areas that were blue will get darker and if you slide it to the whiter side then it will all get whiter. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory um, but this just gives you more options than uh, those previous methods. Um, so I'm just going to click cancel on that. And the next uh, technique is if you go to image and then mode and then grayscale. Now this, the, the problem with this uh, technique as uh, this message says is that it, it wants to discard your color information. So um, it's not really holding it anywhere and it's going to be hard to get it back um, in the future. So I wouldn't really recommend using this unless you didn't plan on doing anything else to the image after um, the black and white because you're not really going to have any of those color uh, options that you had before. I mean you can undo it but um, it just discards the color information. Um, so I'll just show you that. It just pretty much sets it to that. So I would use a different method, but that one is out there um, if that's something that you wanted to do. All right, so the last um, technique is to actually go to image adjustments and then black and white. And this, again, shows you the black and white image. And then this gives you a lot of different options. It gives you reds, yellows, greens, and so forth, um, and allows you to mess with those um, as that other um, technique entailed. Um, so that, that gives you another uh, option. Um, I would probably prefer this one um, if you're really trying to get um, a custom feel, but if you're trying to go for quick, um, you might just use hue and saturation or one of the other methods. Um, so I'm just going to click cancel. And I also wanted to remind you guys um, that the method that I showed you here where you go to image adjustments, um, Let's just use hue and saturation for an example. If I click OK, then it's applied the hue and saturation, but there's really no way for me to undo this later if I decide that's not what I want. Um, so I can do undo right now, but that would be a problem later. So what you're going to want to do is go to this little uh, slash, the half and half circle down here, which is the adjustments. And if we went to hue and saturation there, and we did our hue and saturation, I'm just going to double click on um, layers, then we still have, as you can see, our image here, and then we have our adjustment layer here. Um, and if we no longer want this later, then we can just drag it to the trash, and we have our regular image intact. So that's the nice thing about using this over the image adjustments um, feature. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.